Hi, Smart News. I was checking out one of the big stories of the week, which is all this talk about variants of the virus that causes COVID-19. I know you're hearing a lot about the Delta variant, so I really wanted to ask some questions about what we really need to know about this. And what's helpful for me is actually using real life examples to understand really complex scientific issues. And so I have an example for you, and I thought a live would actually be very useful for it because we could visualize what we're talking about. So one of the most important things to note is that when we're talking about the virus that causes COVID-19, the coronavirus that we've identified, when we're talking about variants, we're not talking about identifying a whole other coronavirus, right? It's still the original coronavirus that causes COVID-19, which is the disease. Remember, COVID-19 stands for Coronavirus Disease 2019. So we're still focused on this one virus that we've identified that we never ever saw before, but now we're all very familiar with, SARS-CoV-2. The thing about viruses is that viruses are sort of like people we evolve, we change, but some of our core characteristics never do. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to imagine a most wanted poster in America for the, the virus that causes COVID-19. And on that poster is a picture of me. <laughs> I am gonna be the bad guy. I'm the most wanted in America, the virus that everyone's talking about, the original strain, okay? And so we know something about this original strain. We know that this, this strain is, a, is someone with auburn hair, or strawberry blonde, depending on the season, uh, freckles, blue eyes, about 5'5", five, five, if I stand up really straight. And so we have some characteristics that we're looking for. So you know, because you've seen this Most Wanted poster, you know what this virus looks like, and you're gonna be able to ward off against it if you see it. So everyone's on a lookout for this particular virus. But then, as we mentioned, viruses change, and they might change in very subtle ways. For example, there could be something just slightly different. So you're looking for someone with freckles, blue eyes, 5'5", five, five, female, right? But my hair is a different color. The question for your body, for your immunity, is whether or not you would recognize me still as the most wanted virus, right? Now, some of you might say, oh yeah, with that, sure, sure, Jenna, I would totally recognize you, but let's, let's see if we get a little bit more severe. Let's see what we can do here. Hmm. Oh, that's going to scare you guys too much. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah, we're not going to go there, although that's pretty funny. <laughs> Let's see if I can find something else. That would be, um, yeah, what happens if suddenly this is how the virus showed up, right? Still look pretty much the same, same voice, right? Same blue eyes, same freckles, but I look slightly different, don't I? We could go even a step further. Um, let's see here. I don't know if I need the sparkles. I think you guys are getting my point, right? Suddenly, the variants look slightly different, although they seem familiar at the same time. <laughs> so what we're tracking are these, <laughs> like the ears, what we're tracking are these variants. I'm gonna go back to the pink hair because I just wanna live vicariously through this filter. Um, what we're tracking is how the virus is changing just slightly. And the question for scientists and health officials and doctors is how well is your body recognizing those variants? Dr. Daria reminded me of something really important today. She said that we're really focused on variants that we are concerned are gonna produce more severe illness or maybe more likely to, to lead to death because we're, we're concerned about being still in this pandemic. Remember, pandemic stands for when we're looking at a disease as pervasive, not necessarily a severity of disease, but something that's a virus that's pervasive. That's what's defining the pandemic. So we're still in the pandemic. She said, you know, it's not just a virus variant can be, can be more deadly or more severe. It also can be more mild. Let me see something more mild. Oh, that's not more mild. How about this? No, this? Yeah, a little bit more mild. It's kind of like a soft filter. <laughs> but we're not going to talk about variants like that because they're not looking like they're going to cause anything. In fact, we may not even know that they're actually doing anything because they're so mild. So variants can go both directions. They can become you know, more severe, more dangerous. They also could be less severe. And the big question at the heart of all this, which is the unknown, is how well will our bodies, will we recognize that most wanted poster, right? The virus that we wanna ward against. And it depends on our bodies, right? Some of us have had a prior COVID-19 infection of exposure to the virus. Some of us don't. Some of us had the vaccine, two doses. Some of us only had a vaccine with one. So our immunity, and Dr. Rutland's always really good about explaining this to us, our immunity looks so different. It's very different depending on who we are, and there's sometimes no ways to predict it. And that's one of the very difficult things about COVID-19 and the virus that causes that disease is that we can't predict how it's going to behave. And that's very difficult, 
right? We wish that we could, because then we could treat it better. So this is the question at the heart. How well will our bodies recognize these different variants? What does that look like? And what is the end result for not only us as individuals, for the community overall? One thing I did learn in, in my research today, we have to remember that many in America uh, of the most vulnerable have been vaccinated. So how this variant might look would look different than last year at the same time when so few had even been exposed to the virus and obviously very few had been vaccinated, right? No, no one had been vaccinated outside of trials. So that's important to keep in mind. So I hope this is helpful. Let me know if maybe I should make this a permanent thing, if this variant should be permanent. <laughs> Can liven things up. But I hope I hope this is helpful to you. This is how we think about variants. The core, there's core characteristics of the virus that don't change, but there's these small mutations that make it look a little different. And the question is, how good are our bodies at adapting? So questions, comments, let me know. I'm gonna have more on this report on smarternews.com a little later today, along with a few other stories that we're really excited about. Can't wait to hear from you guys. All right, have a great week. I'll talk to you soon.